Hello beer tubers and welcome to a little bonus video here in the Christmas calendar. A little beer mail unboxing. Look at this huge box. This is from Johan in Sweden. He sent me a big box last year around Christmas time as well, or before December, slightly before December I think, with some Swedish Christmas beer. So Johan in Sweden, uh, thanks much dude, your rule. He's like, we've been talking a few months since. He, he, he said, I think it was back in August, he, would, he was starting to collect beers for me to review. Uh, Swedish beers and stuff, and um, uh, he, he had only a few beers in this. You don't have to make like big beer mails, dude. And he was like, I like giving big beer mails, so you'll have to wait. <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, I know, like, I think I know one of the beers in here. It's kind of, um, it's a mix. There's also some non-alcoholic beers. There's some craft beers, some Swedish bad beers for the foul beer tasting extravaganza, and apparently also some Swedish festive foods, which is awesome. Uh, it's pretty cool. So thanks a bunch, Joanne. I can't wait to see what we get to review for you guys on the channel from Sweden. But let's just start off in, in one end. So this is the non-alcoholic beer. Um, it, I don't know if you call it a beer, really. It's, uh, I think it is. It's, it's a traditional Swedish drink made with uh, water and malts and sugar and hops and everything. But they remove the alcohol, so it's non-alcoholic beer. I, I, I think it might be reminiscent to the Danish beer, but this should be interesting because this is—it's called Julmust, and if you're in Sweden, you probably know what it is. Um, he said it's not really like Vitor we have in Denmark, but it's kind of like a beery thing. But the special thing about this is this is not a traditional Julmust because it's aged for six months in bourbon barrels. A non-alcoholic bourbon barrel aged beer thing, or you almost. That is cool. I can't wait to try that. So this one is another beer from Black and the Itch. And I got to try a good deal of their beers at this year's uh, Copenhagen Beer, or yeah, 2014 Copenhagen Beer Celebration. But we can't get it in Denmark. It's a very small brewery, so it's always awesome. I reviewed, for example, their Agos, Seabuckthorn, Saison, and Cassis, the um, blackberry, no black currant uh, sour, which was awesome. But this is their Barrique Rouge. So nine percent, so big beer, and they only like make funky sour beers and stuff like that. It says it's a red strong sour ale fermented in aged in oak barrels with several wild yeast and lactose acids. That sounds fucking cool. <laughs> so this one is from the Mohawk Brewery, and this is the Mohawk Mohawk. Cuvée Grand Cru from 2013. It's a Belgian strong dark ale aged in oak barrels with Brettanomyces on 9.9%. That sounds really cool as well. I've reviewed a couple of Mohawk beers, all of which have been from Johan actually, except their extra IPA. I picked it up when I was in Sweden myself. Awesome man, thanks a bunch. So this is a Christmas beer. It says X at X Max. X X Mass on the wrapper, and this is another Mohawk beer. I reviewed their, uh, last year I reviewed their, was it, uh, something with vin winter, midwinter blood, or whiteout, or something like that, it was a winter seasonal. This is their winter seasonal imperial stout, 11%, called Snow Melter. Again, also from Mohawk. Looks like it's an imperial milk chocolate oatmeal coffee stout with malt, oats, coconuts, and chocolate, along with organic coffee from Colombia. That sounds pretty damn awesome. <laughs> and we have this one. He said he wanted to send some foul beer for the foul beer tasting extravaganza. Look at that. <laughs> Warning. Awesome. So one of the beers in here is from Fakahult Stocker, it says, on 5.3%. It's Fakahult Export. And it's got a moose on there. It definitely looks like kind of one of some of the Swedish um, macros or gulu. I think we call it, they call it stakul, we call it gulu in Denmark. And then this one. Oh yeah, that's probably going to be good. Aboga extra stark. Smakful svensk klassiker. 10.2% imperial lard. <laughs> Those are for the foul beer tasting, of course. This one is going to be damn awesome to get reviewed. It's an Omnipolo beer, and as you know, I'm a big fan of Omnipolo. And this is their Hypnopompa, aged in Grönstel's cognac barrels. 
damn. I reviewed the bourbon barrel aged version and it was freaking awesome. And I got to try the bourbon barrel aged version on tap at CBC and I think I might have tried this as well. Man, I can't wait to try this. It's a, basically an imperial marshmallow stout made with Tahitian vanilla beans on 11%. Uh, and then we have this. I guess this is the Swedish candy you talked about that I should have for this. Uh, it's from Cloeta, Cloeta, and it's Julskum. We actually also get this in Denmark. I don't know if Cloeta is a Danish or Swedish. Yeah, it's, it's a Swedish company. It looks like no, it's just, oh, it doesn't say where they're from exactly. It says just. Like Malmö, Poinbu, it says just in, in cities in both Sweden, Denmark, and Finland, and Norway. But it's basically a kind of marshmallowy candy. They're delicious. We usually have them uh, during Christmas here in my family as well. Like in the, we usually have a bowl with candy on the table for Christmas parties and stuff. Usually these are in there. But I'll make sure to eat some of those with the with the Uruus. So there's another. Christmas beer because it said X Mats on the bottle, and this is Mohawk Blizzard Imperial Porter of 9.7%. A lot of Imperial beers in here. Oh, that's cool. All in brewing. I've heard so much good uh, good stuff about these guys. It's a newer Swedish brewery. This is a collaboration beer, collaboration, collaboration beer between All in Brewing and Demolin in Holland, and this is the Empire's the Empress <laughs> Strikes Black. Whiskey Oak Aged Imperial Stout Brewed with Licorice. That sounds fucking delicious. So this is another <laughs> Jürgenwurst. And this is also like a non-alcoholic beer thing. It's from same, the same brewery as these guys. This is just aged not for six months in bourbon barrels, but in rum barrels. That's cool to see non-alcoholic beer like that. Yes! I really hope you'd be sending this because we couldn't get it in Denmark. But it's another all-in beer. This is a collaboration beer with the Danish brewer that unfortunately doesn't exist anymore called Stronzo. Uh, they got bank uh, became bankrupt this year. I reviewed their bourbon barrel aged bra black bracket, kind of uh, as a tribute to it, which was amazing. But this is one they did in collaboration with All In, and it's just the 100% Viking. Fuck okay, yeah. It's an imperial oatmeal stout brewed with coffee, vanilla, oak chips, molasses, and raisin molasses on 11%. That just sounds insane. So this looks like a more traditional Yulmust. It's called Soyanots Yulmust. And this, yeah, this is not made with, uh, or aged in the barrels or anything, but I can see it's made with hops and malts as well. And this last one is another collaboration, also with all in. But this is a collaboration between All In and Leavik in Norway, and this is their Imperial Porter on 8.5%. And we've actually had this on tap here locally. I didn't get to try it though. Here's a jazz beer mail from Johan. Oh my god, dude, you really are the king of beer mails. This is freaking insane. And then we got the, the candy as well. So, look forward to. Reviews of these. I'm gonna get through the Christmas beers first, which is these two, and then the Yulmus, which we'll see in the calendar, and the rest after. So, uh, and, and of course, these two in the foul beer chasing. So, thanks a bunch, Johan. You freaking rule, man. This is insane. You make some pretty damn good beer mail. So, thanks a bunch, man. We'll stay tuned for these reviews and uh, carry on with the Christmas calendar, guys. Cheers.